A warning tonight, this next story may not be suitable for some viewers. He is a San Antonio police officer fired over misconduct. It's connected to a violent off-duty incident involving his former fiance. Now, a year later, Officer Justin Ayers may get his job back. As Dylan Collier reports tonight, his arbitration played out as a new study from the University of Chicago Law School finds that law enforcement departments, given the right to unionize, saw a sharp increase in violent incidents by officers. It's tonight's Defender's investigation. IA 2018-0416, where the respondent officer is Officer Justin Ayers. This internal affairs video recorded last summer is not what you would call routine. San Antonio police officer Justin Ayers is in the gray shirt, and his defense attorney is to his left, dressed like he's about to board a flight to Hawaii. But this is far from a vacation for anyone involved. Weeks earlier, after a night of heavy drinking, Ayers was accused of beating his then fiance at their far north side apartment, fracturing the woman's orbital and sinus wall so badly she underwent reconstructive surgery on her face. That was a problem. That was right here. But watching Ayers' account of what happened only would lead you to believe that he was the victim, that despite the woman's serious visible injuries, she attacked him with a large rock as he tried to get away. After the district attorney's office last fall declined to indict Ayers, he moved a step closer to winning back his job, exercising his union-backed right to take his case before a third-party arbitrator. If the punishment goes down, you expect the, the misconduct to go up. John Rappaport, an assistant professor of law, is part of a team at the University of Chicago Law School that studied the impact of labor unions on law enforcement misconduct. The conclusion of their research, alarming. The group looked at 20 years of law enforcement misconduct violations in Florida. Why there? Because until 2003, in this state Supreme Court ruling, deputies could not unionize. The University of Chicago team found in the years after the ruling, violent incidents among sheriff's offices in Florida increased 40 percent. Just the collective bargaining rights themselves uh, uh, caused an effect on the incidents of violent misconduct. Um, even separate from th the decision to actually unionize. But then, of course, at once we find that it, it does go up, uh, the next question is why. Rappaport says the reason could very well be procedural protections. That basically make it harder for law enforcement agencies to, to discipline or to get rid of officers who are causing a lot of problems. In the case of Ayers, his union-enforced public hearings spread over months, give him another chance to keep his job, whether his bosses or the public want him or not. For the defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. No final decision has been made on whether Ayers will return to the department. Meanwhile, SAPD Detective Daniel Pugh, arrested earlier this year for family violence, was fired in early July despite the criminal charge being dismissed. He, too, is now asking for his job back.